checking in here with the Lady Flame swim team today as they get set to head to James Madison next on the schedule. And right now we're visiting with freshman standout Prudence Rooker. Prudence, thank you for taking a couple of moments here for us. I know you guys just got done with practice. So how'd it go today? It went really well. It was kind of a swim out from like the whole 10 days that we were in Florida. So it was just kind of like getting the bus, bus ride out for now. Well, it's, you're into the new year now, and you've already gone through the, the Florida Gulf Coast meet. did very well down there. You won an event. Uh, tell us uh, how that went for you, and uh, was it uh, easy to get back in the swing of things? Well, um, it was pretty well. You know, training over the break that we had, you know, when we went home. And then going to the meet, <laughs> it was a little hard to, like, get into races just because we hadn't been in a competition since November, so... Everyone was trying to like get on their like game face, and it took me a little bit, but I pulled in for the last race, so that was good. What did you do during the holidays to kind of keep yourself ready to go and uh, you know try not to to have so much rust when you were coming back? I just I have a club team back home that I've trained with for a really long time, so I like got in the pool and did practices with them, and also did like practices on my own. So try to stay in shape for the training season. Now, you're from Oregon, so I'm imagining that there was a lot of indoor swimming when you were growing up, but uh, yeah. your entire family is actually made up of swimmers, uh, as, as it turns out. I think you've got a brother that swims at LSU, uh, a couple of other siblings that are at, a, uh, uh, at Kenyon College as well. Uh, swimming growing up in the family, I, I guess, how did that all come about? Um, well, it's a big family. Obviously, we have five, there's five of us, and... My parents actually just wanted to get us into lessons, and they're like, "We don't want to, you know, have an incident, have somebody like, you know, go through something really traumatic." So, they put us in lessons, and then we like started at a local pool, and we joined the swim team there, and like slowly, all five of us joined, and then we just started, <laughs> we just like kept it going. It became like a family tradition. I'm guessing there was a, probably never a time that you can't remember. Or that you can remember not knowing how to swim, <laughs> but <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I, I don't know. I started competitive swimming when I was about four or five years old, mm -hmm. and before that, I was still like swimming around the pool, whatever, splashing with my siblings. <laughs> when did you realize that this was something that you wanted to do competitively at a, at a higher level, like collegially? That's really tough. I mean. I've always wanted, like, I always wanted to keep swimming. I never really, like, when I started, I never really saw an end date. I was just like, oh, I'll just swim forever. <laughs> I'll just always be in the pool. But um, I think in high school, I started to kind of, like, see, like, the possibilities and what I could do with that and how I could, like, help me through college. So I guess, like, beginning of high school. When did you hear about Liberty? <laughs> I heard about Liberty... Um, about it was the summer after my junior year and I was a little late about like hearing about the program because I'd like gone through all these colleges because I knew swimming was something that I wanted to do but um, I hadn't really I hadn't virtually heard anything about Liberty and then Jake called us up and he like we talked a lot and he's like oh I'll just you know I'll take a visit out to Oregon and that kind of started the whole thing. And since you've been here, you've been very successful, obviously. You know, young program, you've already gone into the record books on uh, several events. Uh, did you expect this much success early on? Um, I tried not to go in with a whole lot of expectations. I just wanted to kind of have a clean slate. I didn't have the best past few years of like high school swimming. And I wanted to start out fresh and just like, if I could get past times, then that was going to be pretty awesome. Lastly, turn your sides to James Madison next up. What are you guys doing to get ready for that meet? I mean, we've been preparing for a while. <laughs> so it's just keeping the ball rolling. Everybody's, I think last week was a really good kind of like warm up for JMU. And everybody's ready to go. All right, Prudence, appreciate the time. Wish you the best of luck coming up here. Thank you. It's Lady Flames freshman Prudence Rooker with us. You can keep up with the Lady Flames swim team right here at LibertyFlames.com. For LFSN, I'm Nick Pierce.